I received some comments on few of my YouTube videos, and those comments imply that I hate CompTIA certifications. Some of you may feel the same, and some of you possibly hate CompTIA certifications. So in this video, we're gonna address and clarify things. And for those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am Career Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, three bench tutorials in cybersecurity, three bench tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Let's have a little history, especially for those who are not so familiar with CompTIA as an organization. So CompTIA stands for Computing Technology Industry Association, wasn't originally the CompTIA that we know. It was Association of Better Computer Dealers Incorporated, or ABCD. So they formed in 1982 by representatives of five microcomputer dealerships. Its initial focus was on issues related to reseller channel education and advocacy. So in 1984, ABCD changed its name to CompTIA. Yes, this stands for Computing Technology Industry Association. And over the years, CompTIA evolved to become a leading provider of IT certifications, focusing on vendor neutral certifications that validate skills and knowledge across various IT domains. In 1993, CompTIA introduced a certifications, targeting entry-level IT professionals. This was followed by the introduction of other certifications. So these are Network Plus and Linux Plus introduced in 1999, Server Plus and Project Plus introduced in 2001, and Security Plus introduced in 2002. CompTIA certifications gained widespread recognition globally, becoming sought-after credentials for IT professionals and serving as benchmarks for skill validation in the industry since the 2000s. CompTIA continued to innovate its certification programs, and in 2010s, CompTIA introduced few new certifications, most notably Cloud Plus, introduced in 2013, CASP Plus in 2015, CYSA Plus in 2017, and Pentest Plus in 2018 and their certifications are recognized globally for individuals seeking to start their careers in IT and cybersecurity. Whew, that's a long introduction. So here's my take with CompTIA. And to be fair, they are doing well as an organization. Hats off to them. How about their certifications? Well, there are few certifications that are quite good and personally, I recommend you to go for it, especially if you're starting your career in IT and cybersecurity. Let's start first with A+. I'm not a big fan of this certification, regardless of its popularity. Many people want to take this entry-level, technician-level certification. Well, if you want to start your career as a technician, fixing printers or computers, or being a help desk, go for it. Is it promising? Hell no. You can skip being a help desk. You can skip being a technician. So why take this certification? How about Network Plus? Well, many people are comparing CCNA versus Network Plus. It's not even a debate. If you want to be a network engineer or a network administrator, go for a vendor specific certifications. It's not only CCNA available out there. There's F5, Arista, etc. So why not Network Plus? Because you will not be able to implement and troubleshoot real world and production networks by just learning the concept covered in Network Plus. Some of you may not believe me. Okay, so do me a favor. Search CCNA versus Network Plus in Reddit, YouTube, or any forums. There is no single person who took both certifications and will say Network Plus is better. So why waste your time and money? You can go for other network certifications. What are other network certifications? Well, kindly watch this video. How about Linux Plus? Well, if you want to learn Linux and get a certification, this is what I highly recommend. Of course, there are other options. We have Red Hat Certified System Administrator, 
Linux Foundation Certified System Administrator, Cal Linux Certified Professional, and many others. Well, they're all okay, but I don't see much of their advantages. Linux Plus, at least the most popular and the most well-recognized, is an associate or junior level certification, and from there, you decide whether you want to be a Linux administrator, security professional, or go for container or cloud career. How about Server Plus? I don't recommend it at all. Too much hardware, too much storage. Better to go for virtualization. So take VMware certifications or go for containers. So take Kubernetes certifications. Next, Security Plus. This is probably the best CompTIA certification. And for me, it's the best associate level security certifications, especially if you're starting your career in cybersecurity. So if you read this book, you learn everything from cover to cover. All right, so maybe not cover to cover. Let's say 90%. You will have a better career because you will have a good foundation. It covers networking, cloud, IAM, vulnerabilities, different type of attacks, security policy, and many more. How about Cloud Plus? Well, there is no way you will get a good grasp of cloud computing technologies if you will just learn everything by concept. Again, I don't want you to waste your precious time and money. Better to take cloud certifications from a specific vendor, such as AWS, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud. Or check this video. Next, CASP+. Plus. They're kind of imitating CISSP here, you know? Do they have the same value? Of course not. Will I recommend it? Hell no. If you want to be more technical, go for vendor-specific certifications, such as CCNP Security, Fortinet, F5, or Palo Alto Network certifications. For vendor-neutral advanced security certifications, go for CISA, CISM, or CISSP. CYSA Plus is okay, but there are better certifications out there. So just check this video to learn more. Last, Pentest Plus is not the best penetration testing certifications, but definitely better than Certified Ethical Hacker or CEH. This certification is what I always recommend if you want to start your career in offensive security, ethical hacking, or penetration testing. I recommend you to take this certification before Offensive Security Certified Professional or OSCP, OSWA, EJPT, etc. You see, I don't really hate CompTIA certifications. Just like any other organizations, they have good certifications. They also have bad certifications. I am just here to evaluate and provide you the best career advice. But... There is this one thing I hate about CompTIA. Guess what? The cost of their certification exam.